dear Holmes. What is it tonight? Morphine or cocaine? Well, I can strongly recommend a 7% solution of cocaine. Would you care to try it? No, indeed. I speak not only as your friend, but as a medical man. How can you risk such damage to the great powers with which you have been endowed? I cannot tell you how it clarifies and stimulates the mind. Yes, and destroys it in time. My mind rebels at stagnation. Give me problems. Give me work. Give me the most abstruse cryptogram, the most intricate analysis, and I'm in my proper atmosphere. Then I can dispense with artificial stimulants. Holmes, I have the results of the trial. Listen to this. The judge, in summing up, said... Holmes. Watson, may I be permitted an educated guess? Go on, then. Brandy, sir. No, Brandon. <laughs> well, that's how the story goes. I'm not, I'm not going to vouch for it, of course. But the commission is over here. It's signed by Prince Rupert. It's from my ancestor, uh, Ralph Musgrave. Yes, to join his cavalry troop at Edge Hill. Ah. Rupert Seal and Commission Holmes. Astonishing. <clears throat> It's one of the boots worn that day. Oh. If I may be so bold, sir. Hmm? The boot was worn by his brother, Sir Roland Musgrave, at Naseby. <laughs> it was indeed. <clears throat> As my butler was once a schoolmaster, I must uh, bow to his scholarship over mine in matters of my own family's history. <clears throat> yeah, no, 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 never mind. You, you were... You may leave us now. Where is Rachel tonight? She has a slight distemper, sir. I uh, told her to go to her room. Good night, gentlemen. <laughs> Holmes, Holmes has told me of uh, Brunton's extraordinary gift. I remember my last visit. He spent several hours explaining to me in French. <laughs> Origins of the Piccolo. <laughs> it is wonderful that he should have been satisfied for so long with uh, with such a position. <laughs> but I suppose I suppose he's been um, comfortable and um, lacked the energy to make a change. Oh yes, indeed. The Butler of Hurlston. It's always a thing that is remembered by all who visit us. Oh dear, Master.
Hi, sir. I'm certainly surprised to see you in that place. I suppose you think I've added opium smoking to all my other little weaknesses. I merely said I was surprised to see you there. As indeed I was to see you. I was searching for a friend. But I felt an enemy. An enemy? Had I been recognized in that place, my life would not have been worth an hour's purchase. John! I'm in the midst of the most remarkable inquiry. I hope you're not smoking the substance in that pipe, Holmes. Only to the extent necessary to merge with the surroundings. I'm off to leave in Kent. Are you coming? Of course. It's wonderful, Holmes. Wonderful. The views are spectacular. We're overlooking the most dangerous piece of coastline in the country. Your friend is a natural historian, I presume. An old acquaintance from my college days. I'll see you for the luggage. Thank you.